and welcome to Bellas TV, where I'm sitting down with Teen Wolf star Kiyahu Kahuanui. Welcome to the show. <laughs> um, anyway, it's great to meet you. Um, you are on this hit MTV show, um, and you play Danny. Um, tell me a little bit about your character and, and the show. Uh, Danny's last name is almost just as complicated as... Which is why I just said Danny. <laughs> yeah. I would for you to tell me last name. Uh, so it's Danny Mahaleni. Okay. And Mahaleni. Okay. Mahaleni, yeah. Okay. Uh, which actually means Night of the Heavenly Moon or Night of the Full Moon. Nice. Uh, we, we have yet to discover what that means, if anything. Uh, but I'm sure... Maybe. Actually, I don't know. I have no idea what's going on. Yeah, they'll, they'll throw you the <laughs> yeah. ball, I'm sure. Um, so you have been on the show since season one. Mm -hmm. And your character um, is human. Yeah. And you have to, you don't know what's going on. Tell me a little bit about like some of your backstory uh, and like some of the moments and the beats that you've had in, you know, developing your character and how it's grown. Um, well, from the beginning, he had a much more minor role and, and, he, and it's definitely grown over the last few seasons. Uh, Danny has been sent to the hospital <laughs> a few times for various reasons, all supernatural related for the most part, and somehow is has decided to remain in Beacon Hills um, and, and keep his friends and not ask too many questions. Which I, Stay quiet. Which, which I feel like for the most part has probably kept him out of more trouble that he could have been in because mm -hmm. in the, the grand scheme of things, the more you tend to learn or know, uh, the more trouble you tend to get into, get into. So, or, or be drawn into. What is the energy like on set? I'm sure it's high energy. Tell me about some of your favorite moments or funny stories you might want to share. <laughs> um, what happens on set stays on set. Stays on set. <laughs> <laughs> Except we'll for the behind the scenes stuff? No. Yeah. Um, there's, there's a lot of stuff that happens. I mean, as far as just joking around and, and having a good time. We, um, we, I, I feel like the, the energy is pretty positive on that beat and everybody seems to just wanna, you know, we work long hours, but we, we work hard, play hard. So it, it's a fun environment to be in and I think I'm, I'm lucky and very fortunate to be working as a Amazing, um, you, I hear that you're like an avid photographer and that you um, love like combat and do-it-yourself and build-it-yourself projects. Tell me about like your other creative spheres that uh, you're so involved in. That's amazing. I I have a lot of hobbies. Um, I you know I, I tend to not like to have too much downtime. Mm. So even when I'm on set, I'm often like tinkering away at something, mm. and people you know the cast and crew that. They, I'm like, what are you making now? <laughs> um, I, I, so I, between like making stuff, which which I kind of got on the binge after my cosplay costume, I was like, wow, if I can make this, like, what else can I make? You know, um, it's gone to like I made furniture pieces, I made like light lighting for my house, or like uh, I, I'm also working on some some cosplay for the future. And so you must look really love Comic Con and all. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. That's that's that's. <laughs> I like no, saw the uh, Comic Con like vibe just pop up. Um, that's amazing. We'll but, keep it up. And then and then I mean even that when I'm when I'm not doing stuff at home or make do, doing do it yourself projects, I I am in a combat class uh, that I take a few times a week when I can make it. And there's it's hand to hand. Um, uh, we we use swords, cutlass, broadsword. Um, all the fun stuff you see in like Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah, that's amazing. So I, I'm, I, I definitely don't have a problem keeping myself busy. Very cool, and you're chiseled enough, so I <laughs> get it. Um, so since you're like, you know, very creative, I feel a very creative vibe from you. Like, what's your favorite process, and as an artist, and and as someone who's just a creative junkie? Yeah, <laughs> oh, definitely. Um, I, the, the creative process isn't always a fun one. I, I feel like. It can be it can be really exciting to have so many ideas um, because the possibilities are real. Once you once you get a little bit of self confidence in what you're able to do, um, mustering up 
what you want to create is, I mean, the possibilities really, there are endless possibilities sure. to, to creating almost anything. And it's about like narrowing it down to what's going to take a feasible amount of time that you'll actually be able to complete and uh, it won't cost you 10 times more than what it could to, to actually even buy something. Right. Um, I feel like once once you have that idea, after you've, you've mulled over something for long enough, the, the going to work and being like, okay, I just need to put together you know these 15 pieces and then assemble them and then that's my project. That's the funnest part. Awesome. But doing the detail work isn't always the funnest um, and conceptualizing and narrowing your ideas down isn't always the funnest. Either. Very cool. Yeah. Um, what's your dream role? My dream role would probably be, I mean, I mentioned it already, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones? I knew it! <laughs> yeah. I knew it! Um, I, I knew feel it. like I'm, tr I'm training up to that point where I've, like, I have all the It'll real happen. skills that you need, so something like that. I mean, I'm sure there's another series that, that I'm not thinking of from the top of my head if Game of Thrones doesn't happen. Or something that'll Finger probably crossed. pop up in the next year or two. I don't Possibly. know. Possibly. Um, yes. Can you tell us any, um, like, sneak peek? Secrets on next season of Team Law? Uh, well, as, as far as, scene, as season four goes, we know nothing. Okay. Uh, season three isn't over yet, though. So there's definitely a little more to learn about certain characters that I can't say anything about. It's very vague. I think, yeah, I, 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 can't, I can't. There's there's honestly almost nothing that I can say without. People, spilling it without without spoiling, spoiling it because it. because people people are like investigative reporters mm -hmm. they are they are professional investigators when it yep. comes to figuring out yeah. what's gonna happen yeah um, so I'm gonna um, end out with this and that would be in in this time of at this point of your career um, what advice would you have for all of the emerging artists out there that are trying to make it that you know, I always love asking this question because it's just always good to uh, see what what different perspectives are out there and what people believe in as far as creating. So, what's yours? Uh, there's, you know, there's so much advice that I received um, that, I'm, that I still get that I wish I could share. Like, it, I mean, it would almost take like an enormous a notepad, yeah. Um, but the, some of the things I think that are are the best to keep in mind is stick with it. Um, concentrate and focus on on your your weaknesses, but know your strengths and practice, practice, practice.